こんにちは。It's Nami from Just One Cookbook. Back with another video for you. And today I'm going to share how to make Japanese pickles. 漬け物 at home. 塩漬け is a very simple type of 漬け物 as you will only need a few ingredients: salt, water, and vegetables you want to pickle. And it takes just a few hours to be ready. As you may already know, most Japanese set meal, teishoku, is usually served with a main dish, soup, rice, and one or two types of tsukemono. You can read all about different types of tsukemono on my blog, and I put the link up here and in the description box below. Now let's get started.
By the way, I wanted to share my new apron today. I always wear an apron when I cook at home, and recently I received an apron from Koda Aprons as a gift. It's made in the state of Georgia using 100% organic cotton and US leather. If you are wondering, their aprons are fully washable because they use all natural leather and they get softened to be more malleable. I feel like I finally found an apron that fits all my needs. My Koda apron is sturdy, yet fits my body perfectly, and it looks so fashionable. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you love Japanese food, please follow along on Instagram and Facebook at Just One Cookbook. Since you guys are all watching till the end of this video, here's the Japanese word of the day. Tsukemono, konomono, oshinko. These three words describe Japanese pickles. When you travel to Japan, you may notice that Japanese pickles are written in one of these words, so it might be good to know these describe the same thing. Tsukemono, konomono, oshinko. Have fun using it! Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to click the bell icon. Sending big thanks and love to the notification squad. See you next time with a brand new video here on my YouTube channel. Mata ne!